All right, we are live. Hey, Planet Roller Skaters. I'm here in Long Beach, California, and today I'm going live because I want to quickly answer a question that so many of you have been asking me for so long, and that is, what skates should I buy? So I've started to film this episode like five times. I tried filming an episode all about wheels. I tried filming an episode uh, that's like a skate buying guide, and... Every time I get way too technical, way too into detail, and I'm like, oh, people don't need to learn about like crazy wheel durometers yet. They just need the basic information to get rolling. So that's what I'm gonna try to give you guys today. Uh, but first, I wanna know where are you watching from? Comment uh, in the comments, and yeah, I'll try to give you guys the info you need, and yeah, let's just, let's do it. So here I am, I'm at the Ma shop in Long Beach roller skate shop so it's closed right now I'm gonna go in and give you guys a little tutorial so uh, here's the shop hey from London hey Bulgaria that's awesome Greece wow you guys are from all over the world so exciting so this is the skate shop and as you can see there are a lot of different skates here so I'm gonna tell you that, oh, Texas, hey, Texas. <laughs> so the number one most important thing when you're buying your skates is to make sure the wheels roll. That seems so like common sense, but if you go to Big Five or Academy or a big chain sporting goods store and you go try to spin the wheels like this, let me show you. You just have to spin the wheel. So see how that wheel like spins freely? If you go to the skates um, at the, the big sporting goods store, those wheels don't spin. So it may seem like a great idea. It's like, oh, these skates are only $40. They're gonna work. Make sure the wheels spin because if they don't, you're gonna end up having to invest in new wheels and bearings, which may actually cost just as much as a quality skate um, if you were to just buy a quality skate outright. So with that being said, with roller skates, the price directly correlates to the quality. So when you're spending $300 on a brand new Moxie Lolly, it really is a quality boot that's gonna last you a long time. With that being said, there are other options uh, and things that you could do to get skates when you're first starting, and you don't have to invest in the really fancy skates. So what I did when I first joined Roller Derby was I went on Craigslist um, and I found a gal that had just quit roller derby and I got her entire setup for really, really cheap. And those skates lasted me two years. They worked great. Um, they were these skates when I joined derby. Pretty similar, the Rydell version of these guys. And yeah, they were less than $100 from Craigslist. They were used, uh, but they worked great. So don't feel any pressure to have to go out and buy a really fancy, nice new skate setup. You can make it work with anything that rolls. So if you do buy the skates from Big Five and you wanna make those work, you can always go buy new wheels and bearings and put those on those skates and make it work. Just know that the trucks and the plates are made of plastic so the quality isn't that great and they won't last you very long, but if you just wanna kinda of try it out and see if skating's for you, that's a great way to go. So, besides the wheels rolling, uh, the other thing that you wanna ask yourself is what type of skating do I wanna do? So, oh look, there's my uh, Planet Roller Skate poster. <laughs> I put it up in the shop a little while ago. Uh, so, if you're watching my channel, you're probably interested in outdoor skating, rink skating, maybe skate parks. Um, some of you guys might be interested in roller derby. Um, so yeah, the, let me think. If you plan on skating outside or doing dance skating or, so dance skating and skate parks, I would recommend getting a heel on your skate. So that looks like this. So these skates all have heels. So these are all great if you plan on doing any dance skating or ramps um, or outdoor skating. So if you want to play roller derby, I see you there, Yuri, with your hands up. You actually want to skate that doesn't have a heel. So all of these are derby boots and you can see that they have, they're flat right here. And so that gives you more, uh, more agility and ability to, to uh, block in derby. So if you decide that you want to play derby, 
A lot of derby players is typically like the low cut boot with wider wheels and no heel. But if you want to dance skate or ramps, it's usually a higher top boot for support and a heel that puts you on the ball of your foot. So, oh, phone's ringing. We're closed, so I'm not gonna answer it right now. <laughs> Plus I'm in the middle of a YouTube video. Um, but yeah, so the thing that's awesome about the heel of the skate is it puts you on your toes. So I can squat all the way down like this. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna put a little tripod down. So you can see the heel in my skate. And whenever you squat low, it's natural if you're barefoot to go onto your toes. So with the heel, whenever you're squatting super low, it naturally, it feels a little bit more comfortable being able to get low. Then also, if you're doing any sort of dancing, it puts your weight more towards your toes. So it's way more comfortable to do dancing. So the other thing that you wanna ask yourself in relation to boots is, what material do I want? So if you're vegan, you probably want a vinyl. If you want something that's really comfortable and molds to your foot, I would absolutely recommend leather or suede. Uh, but again, a lot of this comes down to price and budget. And you know, the question might be more like, what can I afford right now? So again, don't ever feel the pressure that you have to like get the most expensive skate. There are great skates that are very affordable uh, and work like a charm. Uh, so we talked about wheels. We talked about the boot that you might want. Um, the other thing that you want to consider is the plate. So there are two different, there, there are metal plates and then there are nylon plates. So the lolly comes with a nylon plate. Uh, the beach bunny, or here's the jack boot. This comes with a metal plate. And then the beach bunny down here comes with a metal plate also. So when it comes to plates, plates aren't something you really need to worry too much about in the beginning, uh, but just so you have the information, the nylon plates are, they're a little bit bendy, but they're really, really lightweight. So that's something that's really awesome about the nylon is that they're low price, lightweight, and they'll get you where you need to go. If you plan on being a really, really agile, a technical dance skater or a really fast uh, and reactive derby skater, then a metal plate is a good choice for you. So keep in mind, again, with metal plates, it's a lot about budget. Your lower price plates are gonna be a bit heavier and your more expensive plates are going to be very lightweight, aluminum or metal. Uh, so. In the beginning, you can make anything work, <laughs> but this is definitely something to consider when you plan on upgrading or getting like a pro style boot. So yeah, really, that's kind of just a general overview. Um, as far as recommendations go, I'm gonna get into those later and go into more detail about why I love each boot or why I choose certain boots for certain things, but I just wanted to get, oh wait, wheels. I didn't talk about wheels. So again, the most important part is that they actually roll and spin, but you also wanna ask yourself, am I going to be skating on a rough surface or am I going to be skating on a smooth surface? So if you plan on going out in the streets and trying to go over bumps and rocks and cracks, you're definitely going to want a bigger, gummier wheel. So maybe something, let's look at the wheel case here. So here's our wheel case. It has the awesome holographic background. If you guys ever make it to the Moxie shop, You'll get to see this, it's so beautiful. It actually has a light on it. Ooh, let's turn the light on. We updated all the lighting in the shop, so now it's on point. Ah, there we go. So sparkly. All right, so these are the Moxie Outdoor Wheels. They're really big and they're really gummy, so they feel a little mushy. These are great for going over big bumps and cracks and all kinds of stuff like that outside. Um, these are the Beach Bunny skates, or the Beach Bunny wheels. So you can see they're a little bit smaller, but they're still soft like these wheels. Uh, and that makes them awesome for everything, really, for rinks, for skate parks, for outside. These might not be your best derby wheels, though, because they're gummy, so they'll be a bit slower. So if you're gonna play derby or try to be like a really precise indoor dance skater, you're probably gonna want something like these. These come on the GT50s by Rydell and they're wider, so that's great for derby and they're hard. 
Um, these are the Moxie Trick Wheels and the Chicks and Bowls Wheels. So these are like small and hard, just like, like, uh, like skateboard wheels. So these were actually modeled after skateboard wheels. So they're great for skate parks, for dance skating. But really, the general idea is that if you are, oh, Leah's here. Hey, Leah, I'm doing a live stream. Do you want to say hi if you don't feel like? Hello. <laughs> so Leah just got here to open up the shop, which means I need to hurry because customers are going to be coming in soon. Uh, but yeah, so general idea for wheels is bigger, gummier, softer wheels are great for really, really rough surfaces. The nice thing about those is you can also take them inside. So you can take those gummy outdoor wheels to the rink too. Um, but with hard indoor wheels, those don't go outside as well. So if you want a wheel that'll do everything, I would recommend getting softer, gummier wheel, because that could go anywhere. But if you know you want to play derby, or if you know you're only be good, blah, blah, blah. If you're only going to play derby, or you know you're only going, go, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> or you're only going to be in the rink, <laughs> then I would recommend uh, what people call like an indoor wheel. It's harder a little bit smaller. Um, if you're playing derby, it's wider. So <sighs> I hope that wasn't too confusing. I hope I've helped break it down for you guys. Um, I'm gonna look at questions now. So if you guys have any specific questions, I'm gonna pull up the comments here. Um, they say hi, Leah. <laughs> Hello. Okay. All right. Is it possible to roller on skateboard wheels? Yes, it's possible, but sometimes the trucks on roller skates put pressure on the wheels differently. Um, so you can make it work. Some people, because of the size of the axle, you have to like flip the nut. Uh, I can show you guys in another video. That's actually a really good question. Um, but yeah, you could always just experiment, try things out. There is no right or wrong. You know, if you want to try skateboard wheels and your roller skates, do it, see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, bearings. I typically just get bones red classic, easy. Uh, recently I was finally like, okay, I should invest in some ceramic Swiss bearings. And so I did, and I love them. They're great. I definitely feel a difference, but for just like daily wear for skates that I'm going to be using a lot, I bones red is my go-to. Um, let's see. Okay. So wider feet. Lots of people ask about what about if I have wider feet? Uh, so any suede or leather boot is going to mold to your foot. So it may look really like slender in profile, but these boots actually work great for people with wide feet. Uh, I've never had any complaints and I've known lots of people that have asked that question and bought lollies and they're really happy with them. Um, whereas if you get something that's vinyl, like the beach bunny down here or the, uh, the Moxie vegan boot, these might not stretch quite as much to fit wide feet, so yeah. Um, oops, let's see to the comments. Oh yeah, I'll look at you guys, hey. Um, so I like the, the Kaya toe stops just because they're colorful and dense, um, but toe stops, you can make almost anything work with those. I wouldn't stress too much about that. I'll get into videos later though, if get into real detail. I'm gonna answer a couple more questions and then they're opening shop right now, so I have to get out of here. Let's see. How do we, oh, there they are. Okay, you wanna see the, somebody wants to see the Beach Bunny skates. So, what skate is best for beginners? Again, that depends on what type of skating you're doing. Watch the video when I repost it and you'll be able to learn all about that. Ah, uh, da da da. So, hey, hey, Israel, that's cool. Um, all right. I think I kind of answered most of you guys' questions. I guess that's all. What if I usually skate my way to the skate park? Soft or hard wheels? I would say I don't change my wheels ever, and I have small soft wheels. So I wear my small soft wheels outside over the bumps and cracks, and then I cruise straight to the skate park. Um, people sometimes don't like softer wheels at the skate park because it slows you down, but I personally like being slowed down a little bit. It makes it easier to control. Uh, so yeah, and just for reference, I wear the Moxie Jack boot. That's more of like a pro boot if you're experienced, you've been skating for a while or if you just wanna get the best of the best from the beginning. Uh, but yeah, I love 
the Moxie Jack boot and I love the Moxie Lolly boot. You can find both of those skates up on the planetrollerskate.shop along with my new Planet Roller Skate merch. So every t-shirt you buy goes to supporting skaters and to help me keep making these videos. So I always appreciate when you guys buy merch and yeah, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer you guys and stay tuned for more detailed gear videos uh, because I know that's a lot of your questions and it's really important to give you all that information. So stay tuned and until next time, later skaters.